This presentation is brought to you by Arizona State University's Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability for educational and non-commercial use only. My name is Tim Kukier, <coughs> uh, my colleague Christopher Robinson. We were tasked by the city of Goodyear to do an in-depth analysis of a pilot project that they had called the Brine Wastewater Management Wetland. Um, and so here is our case study findings. So before I go into what exactly this wetland project is, um, this initial case study report is meant to inform implementation on Full, fuller scale, um, full scale wetland uh, using our economic analysis, ecological analysis, and social analysis, as well as provide recommendations. Um, apologies for the picture, it seems to have a little bit So, um, this is just a, a brief picture of the wetland uh, pilot project right now. It's uh, composed of several bins that are linked, and I'll talk about the process in the next slide. Um, but the methodology we used in our case study was based on an extensive literature review of uh, city databases, academic sources. Um, and then we also did a bit of secondary data analysis, especially, especially for our social anal um, analysis section, um, in order to uh, create targets and measurements for the city of Goodyear. And those are, are based from city data and city databases as well. So what do I mean when I say a, a wetland pilot project? Um, the city of Goodyear has a projected population increase of over 160,000 residents in the next 20 years. And with that population boom, is going to become is coming a larger supply or demand of water, as well as um, the lar larger amount of water that needs to be processed. So the city of Goodyear relies solely on ground pump um, water from, um, from the ground, and this water that comes up from the ground um, has a very high salt concentration. And so, in order to make it potable for its residents, uh, they need to use a process called reverse osmosis. And the output or the effluent or the wastewater from that process is what we are going to be referring to as brine. So um, in the past, what Goodyear has done is they have disposed of this brine just in the sewer to be processed along with every uh, with all the other wastewater. Um, but the city thought that they wanted to capitalize on the opportunity to sort of process this brine um, in order to do something different. So how this process works is the brine comes out of the RO plant, the reverse osmosis plant. It's pumped into a series of bin of wetland bins um, on the bottom, and these bins are composed of several layers layers of soil medium, peat, and microbial communities. And then the water is um, taken up by the, especially the wet plants, and through this process, um, especially with the microbial communities, a lot of the toxins and the metals in the water are removed. And then this, 